you and you all, hello. I want to welcome you to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. These next little bow sounds are to align us and to bless this reading. <clears throat> Today's reading is a terrible vlog. Um, I think this is number three for me. Um, today is a shadow one. Um, so these are my two shadows. Um, my divine masculine shadow, divine feminine shadow, and then the card explaining why, and then the cards <laughs> explaining why she feels so hurt. Um, it was only supposed to be two. Like I literally wrote it out. It was supposed to be two cards. You see, two cards. She had a whole story that she wanted to tell. So I'm gonna honor that. And yeah. So at the bottom of the deck here we have repel. So that's not being able to receive. And boy oh boy, have I had so many people tell me, Gina. You need to be able to receive. I'm just like, well, I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. I was going to curse, but I'm not going to. In this feeding, I don't know how to do that. So, <laughs> and then we have the two of swords here. So that's like indecision, not being able to make decision, being at a crossroads, crossroads of sorts mentally, um, especially. That's like a lot of mental energy coming in. Yeah, I feel that. Um, as just overall energy. Sometimes, yeah, you just get in that two of swords. It's just like. You feel like you can't make the correct decision um and you feel like you can't tap into that inner wisdom that you know that you have access access to um and it's like you're just torn basically but i'm just gonna go ahead and get started with my male shadow my male shadow is distant yeah i feel that oh holy shit, i feel that just because like when i like i can pull away so fast sometimes it honestly scares me <laughs> So yeah, I definitely understand why that card came out. I don't need to like affirm or anything. Like guess I'm nah, I know why. <laughs> and then we have the Empress and then we have Justice. I just said to clarify. Um, so maybe my divine masculine is feeling not abundant and he's not feeling like he has um like he's not feeling like things are fair in life. And I don't know why it would be I mean, I understand like why, but like to such a degree that it comes out like so explicitly in the cards no and this is like totally sacral chakra energy creativity like creative energy and yeah i have been feeling a little like distant from everything like just i feel very here right now but i just feel like distant yeah this is very very accurate <laughs> Distant, yeah, definitely. So I'm just gonna pull some calls, cards. Cards. Um, why would this divine masculine be feeling distant, spirit? Why is divine masculine feeling distant? Why is he feeling apart from everything? I just feel a little bit of apathy. I want to assess for that's a lot. I'll um a little bit less than it. I'm trying to do like one or two. Compromise. Self worth coming in, yeah. Courage. And then you have metamorphosis. So, like, I think this is like, especially with this Two of Swords energy, it's like me needing to bridge the, the gap between ideas that I have in my head and not to like, like, not keeping other people's opinions in mind because I, I tend to do that sometimes. I tend to like um, not not value my opinion, but just not um, just not think by myself basically. Like I use other people's opinions to think for me. So I understand and it's like basically saying like to make decisions that I align with, I feel. And to like close the gap, <clears throat> just distant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it on and pull a card for this distant card. Yeah. Purge, so I'm on my deck here. Third party underneath. But we have, guess what guys? Family, shadow work, which is what this reading is about. And a grief coming in, yeah. So I guess this is talking about some family stuff. And 
the expression of my divine masculine side. My dad wasn't too active in my life. And he, like, unfortunately passed away too as well. So like, like I said, I understand why this stuff is coming out, but it's like really in your face, loud spirit. Um, I'm just gonna pull in my card because I have like really, this is pretty kind of dry here. Um, I guess just explore my like, imagine the bottom of the deck. Ex oh, crap, sorry guys, I didn't mean for that to happen. We have this stone coming down. But I'm gonna put it, I guess I need that stone to come down. Um, oh, it's way too many. I'll just take uh, that one. Observer. Yeah, that means to me just like be more like, this is what I'm trying to buy, just being more not distant from your feelings, but like just absorb, ab that word, observer, look at them, see them, understand them, you know? That's what I'm going to move on because this video is like a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. But, you know, sometimes tarot is just very in depth, very like in depth. <laughs> Okay, so my shadow for her. Lust. Yeah, I understand. Um, me feeling like not sexually... God, this is on camera. Me not being sexually satisfied, you know? And like... And not even like not having... If I have sexual satisfaction, I don't have the emotional satisfaction. It's just like always like desiring. So I understand that. All right, so let's see what the tarot has to say. Three of Wands, it's about passion. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. And then we have Repealed on the bottom. Repelled, excuse me, on the bottom of the deck here. And then we have we have um, the Six of Pentacles coming in. The energy of giving and receiving, you know? I think... Knight of Wands. Yeah, like I feel it. It's just an up and down energy. Like, if you see the spread, it's the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles in the world, Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. That energy is just so mumbled and jumbled. But this is a beautiful card, but it's right next to the Three of Swords. So, this is someone who feels like just not like she has hasn't had any luck with anything. And she feels kind of like powerless, honestly. Um, it's like she wants to be in this Queen of Wands energy and this Six of Pentacles energy of like passionate. And Queen of Wands, again, dealing with the sacral chakra here. Um, but instead, yes, I do feel complete, but I do have feelings of like this heartbreak energy. And my Wands to me is probably the most um, I'm, I want, I don't want to say unstable, but he just like is quick and, um, kind of narcissistic and not generous and just not a quality knight, you know? So I get it. Cause that's, 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 that happens. You know, that happens. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull some clarifiers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the ones that came out. And the other spread back in so those cards are options i feel like i'm open to be just transparency here and what i do is um i'm still going to shuffle them but when i put my cards back in i put them back in like this mama's super paranoid so what i do is that and then that and then that and then that and then that so in my head it has less of a chance of like ending up together and like coming back out, you know? Just some of that. Um, just three cards for it to clarify. I, just, I understand what she's talking about. The dissatisfaction basically, like being, I feel fulfilled by myself. I feel fulfilled by myself, but like saying, have I had that like in the connection before? No, never. And do I want that? Obviously. And then I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting that. Um, but it's coming out as like me acting out and not like just being a deviant almost. You have to find masculine. Ha ha ha. We have material world. That card always comes out. Like it's been showing. I feel like that's what we saying. Focus on this material world. Forgiveness. 
like forgiving myself and that will like raise my vibration up and then let's pull another card right here for like a more of a storyline to me and then we have inner child coming in new direction this card always pops up <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cut and dry for me. That's just saying, um, again, this card's going back in. Um, this one. This is running over 10, so I'll be quick. But, um, yeah, that makes total sense to me. Just working with my inner child, like, around, I guess, sex. <laughs> and, like, not even sex, but just, like, feeling the lack, you know? Because... You only lust when you feel a lot, you know? When you, like, when... And I feel like women especially have to deal with, like, the need... I like feel like, I mean, I guess it's always natural to want more. But the feeling of gratitude for me, honestly, and the feeling of, like, being okay with where I'm at is kind of hard sometimes bottom of the deck we have chaos and conflict this card came out on my channel i mean my instagram follow that it's um spiritually gina again follow me on instagram spiritually gina this card came out too the tribe and then we have deep knowing yeah i feel like this is spirit just saying chill um do what you need to do in that arena but chill um yeah so thank you so much for watching this reading if it resonated with you if you found value in this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And also, turn on the post notifications so you can get notified when I make new content. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Namaste.